The Finest Hours is the first film of 2016 that I've seen so far. It's a new release from Disney about one of the most famous rescue missions in Massachusetts history. In 1952, a terrible storm on the east coast of the U.S. led to an oil tanker called the Pendleton splitting in half off the coast of Massachusetts. In a case of cruel coincidence, another oil tanker was going through the exact same problem at that point in time, which led to most of the rescue forces going to that one before anyone knew the Pendleton was in trouble. And so it comes down to a small group of coast guards from Cape Cod to save the Pendleton crew. The story focuses on two protagonists. One is the shy but obedient coast guard named Bernie Weber, and the other is an antisocial but pragmatic member of the Pendleton crew named Ray Siebert. With Siebert on the boat and Weber on the shore, we follow these two viewpoints until they eventually converge with the rescue attempt. Honestly, the story feels really cliched. We have the obligatory build-up where we see Weber and Siebert mocked and disliked by their peers, only for a disaster to make them the exact people needed to save the day. Weber has a romance subplot as well, but despite attempts to make her an assertive and interesting woman, her role is the typical concerned love interest holding back tears while waiting for news. That said, the movie has some impressive action scenes. The storm is portrayed brilliantly, and the dangers faced by the men on the boat are very properly represented. The rescue mission is also well filmed, though I feel like it might stray a bit beyond believable at a couple points. Unfortunately, I ended up having to see this movie in 3D, and it adds absolutely nothing to the experience of the film. I should say that as bland as the story is, the actors in the film do their best with what they're given. Chris Pine and Casey Affleck both show men who come into their own in a dire situation, refusing to give up no matter the opposition. I don't really have much fault with their performances. They do a great job. The side characters, however, just fall by the wayside. Holiday Granger and Ben Foster are given little to do, and even a veteran actor like Eric Bana exists just to bluster, look mean, and shout orders. The film is admirable for how it looks and for genuinely impressive effects. We really get an idea of just how terrifying it is to be stuck in the middle of a storm, literally seeing death approach in the form of a giant wave. But for all the efforts of the actors, the story and the writing let them down. I'm sure the actual event deserves recognition, and the brave men who put their own personal safety aside to go into that storm have all my admiration. But The Finest Hours, unfortunately, falls short of its title's promise.